Hello Vinyl Community and everyone else watching this. I'm back again, this time with a thrift store finds update. Um, haven't had much luck at thrift stores lately to be honest. Um, things have been really, really poor, which <laughs> I'm in the same boat as the rest of you. So. <laughs> There you go. I have found a few things. A bunch of these have been laying around a while now. It's been a while since I've done, done one of these. So, um, if I don't remember where I got it or what I paid or whatever, you know, a few of them are new. And they're all mixed in. They're, I didn't put them in any order. A lot of times I'll group them by category or something. I didn't. I just, they're just here. Um, and the first one I may have shown before. And if I did, I apologize. But I'm going to show it again whether I did or not because there's a song on here. This is the reason I bought it. They had a few Up With People albums. This one is from 1979. It's called People Are The Energy. Now I have one Up With People album and it's so terrible that I was never going to buy another one. It's just, it's not even funny terrible. It's just terrible. But this on the other hand, <laughs> I did not listen to the new version of Up With People either. But this one... And if I didn't show you this, here's this track listing, has a song on it called Rock and Roll is Gone for Good. Now, <laughs> I played this. I don't know if it's supposed to be a joke. I don't know if they're serious. I can't tell. But man, what a who. I opened the show with it. It'll be upcoming in a couple of months. I'm way ahead. It even has the original lyrics. <laughs> Um, and uh, this thing, it turns into the, the, the sort of, for them, kick-ass rock and roll song in the middle of it. It starts out like 30s vaudeville and it turns into rock and roll. And I don't know what to make of it, except <laughs> it cracked me up. So, uh, up with people. And uh, if you see this, pick it up. <laughs> God. That was, that, I'm sure that was 29 cents. This I picked up, um, I've seen this before, but it's in nice shape. Herb Albert puts the, used to put these out. Um, this one's called Family Portrait. 16 outstanding selections from A&M Records. The record's in really, really nice shape. Most of these are this time. Um, really nice shape, like minty. And um, 16 outstanding selections, including the merry-go-round, which is why I picked this up. I maybe never seen a merry-go-round track which was Emmett Rhodes band of course on a various artists album um, and uh, who else are on here of course Herb Albert's on here Chris Montez, Liza, Montez, Liza Minnelli, Phil Oaks is on here Burt Bacharach, Antonio Carlos Jobim, Jimmy Rogers, Sergio Mendez of course Voice and Heart, Herbie Man um, but again, nice, no sleeve in this, but I don't know, most times you see no sleeve, the terrible condition, but this record is really nice. So, Family Portrait, Herb Albert, and Company. Pick this up, 29 cents. The first songs of the first lady. Basically, this is um, a compilation LP, probably of her first two albums, I'm guessing. In fact, I think it kind of tells you that right there. Um, in, a, in a two record set, it's a gatefold. And uh, there's Tammy right there. And again, cover's got a little bit of wear, not too bad. And the records are just nice, 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 uh, epic. So again, I picked it up for 29 cents. Why not? And. Um, I love when they change things. It's got a sticker right here. Um, I, I actually like that. It means it probably means it's the first pressing of, of of this because something was wrong and they changed it. So that's cool. Cool enough anyway. Carly Simon, No Secrets, the one with the so vain on it. Um, I wouldn't have bought this except it's still an original shrink. It's minty. And uh, it's got the original inner sleeve, and I mean it looks like it's never been played. So again, this one, this one, I I, I read the price tags on because you can't get it off the shrink rack. This one 
shrink wrap. This one was a whopping 49 cents. So they, they knew they had something here and charged, you know, 20 cents more. Carly. Sanford Townsend Band. This is the one with smoke from a distant fire on it. Which is why I buy it. Somebody did circle and cross out and do harm to the back cover a little bit. But otherwise, again, really nice shape. Um, got a Warner Brothers Lost Leader sleeve in there. And uh, really nice shape. So, 29 cents. Grab that. And again, Boss Skaggs, greatest hit, still in shrink. It's coming off a little bit, but uh, nice shape. Records in really nice shape. Got the original in a sleeve with the lyrics, so on and so forth. So, uh, again, not the biggest Boss Skaggs fan in the world. It's got low down, Lido Shuffle on it, his version of We're All Alone, Breakdown Dead Ahead, JoJo, pretty much everything I need, Miss Sun. The boss. These I never pick up, but again, when you see them like this for 29 cents, I mean, this might have been at the three for a dollar store. The last couple might have been. Linda Ronstadt, the Nelson Riddle Orchestra, What's New, her, you know, orchestral, loungy standards. But again, I mean, I mean, this great picture of Linda inside. And, uh, just, you, when you see them like this, I can't leave it sit there. I mean, this thing is just in perfect shape. So, pick that up. This is, I was psyched to see this. The Super Hits. I have one or two more of these um, on Adco Records with Dial and Atlantic and Stacks as well. All kinds of cool stuff on there. You'll see the set list there. This thing isn't mint, but it's definitely decent. And uh, the cover is really nice. And uh, it's actually in better shape than I remember. Cool label, too. Um, so, very happy to get this. You got uh, Sam and Dave, Wilson Pickett, Aretha Franklin, Eddie Floyd, Percy Sledge, Young Rascals, Barbara Lewis, Booker T and the MGs, Carla Thomas, the Marquis, Joe Tex. Pretty cool, soul-y kind of stuff there. That would have been three for a buck. Maxell, the rock sampler, volume two, and that's why I picked it up. They had volume one, but it wasn't in great shape. This one's like minty. I love the back cover with all the Maxell stuff on it. And you see volume one everywhere. You don't see volume two nearly as not much. The gatefold. Um, Robert Gordon's bopping the blues is on here. Um, Hollow Notes are on here. Poco, Triumph, The Outlaws, Styx, Michael Stanley Band. Radio Shack put these out. No, it's an, actually, they didn't. It's Max O. I don't know what I'm thinking. It's on an RCA special products label. Christy Moore and Friends. Christy Moore was... One of the Dubliners, and they're my favorite, like, Celtic-Irish band. And, um, love Christy Moore's voice. And, again, In Shrink, um, minty copy of this record on RTE Records. It's just some traditional Irish stuff with some other people. But, uh, again, three for a buck. This is in really nice shape, and I was stoked to see this. A command test record, command stereo check out. Um, you guys know I love the command. They always sound great and they, their packaging is really nice and they always give you the little diagrams of what's going on. And uh, very, very cool. And I don't, definitely don't own their demonstration record. The command label, Enoch Light was in charge of this. And uh, he was a stickler. So, um, very, very happy to have that. Again, really nice shape. Couldn't pass this up. It's, again, minty. Wolf Creek Pass. 
T.W. McCall. This, I believe, was the album he made right after the Convoy album. And, uh, have not played this yet. But, C.W. there. Trying to look tough. Kind of not succeeding. Um, on MGM Records. This is Ale Hurt. I may even have this. I'm not sure. But I love Ale Hurt. Two record set, greatest hits kind of stuff. Again, this one is just minty, and if I have it, mine definitely isn't. Not much going on in the gatefold. Um, just Dynaflex, unfortunately. But uh, side one and side four, always in Dynaflex. I don't think I've ever seen a Dynaflex. Somebody let me know. I don't think I've ever seen a two record set Dynaflex where side one and four weren't back to back and then two and three on the other record a lot of companies did it sometimes Dynaflex I think all the time couldn't pass this up run DMC with of course Steven Tyler walk this way um, the original <laughs> one of the few rap songs I actually like and uh, this thing is in nice shape despite not having a, a sleeve and um, again three for a buck couldn't, couldn't pass it up. Dave Von Ronk sings the blues. This is my first ever on LP Dave Von Ronk album. Um, he was a contemporary of Dylan's. In fact, Dylan stole House of the Rising Sun from him. His arrangement put it on his album and didn't tell him. <laughs> um, on Verb, Folkways, really nice shape here again. So really happy to find that. You know, this stuff is better than I'm remembering. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, the Butterfield Blues Band. Keep moving on Electra. So very happy to have that. It is. It has the big E but red. I don't know when this came out, if this is an original pressing or not. Someone could probably tell me. I know you Electra fans out there all know this stuff like the back of your hand. So, again, really nice record, really nice cover, everything like minty on this thing. Well, a little bit of wear right down there, but for the rest and on top. But for the most part, a little bit on the front. There's a little bit of ring wear. But uh, still, really nice for food for a buck. I'll take it any day. Okay, that's all I got. Check out my podcast, snapcracklepop.podomatic.com. Not sure I said that in my last video. And I uh, hope everybody's doing well and all of that kind of stuff. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. Um, thanks for watching and take care, everybody. Bye.